So I find it really interesting that, you know, this idea of an imposter, that Jesus is, the whole thrust of the Islamic Jesus is salvation through giving up material wants. And the idea of an antichrist is salvation through desire of material goods, that it is material goods that will make you happy. And also the idea of being one-eyed is that part of uh, uh, biocular vision uh, is depth perception, which you lose uh, when, w with one eye. And so the idea that they, they, there's no, that the Dajjal or the Antichrist does not have a depth perception, he's a two-dimensional being. He sees things in two dimensions. To a point now where experts are saying that Alexa and Facebook are not only going to be able to predict the end of a relationship based on what people are posting and the data of what they're doing online, what they're buying and sharing and everything, but eventually they're now saying this prediction will now be able to be made before the relationship itself even starts. I mean, I don't know, can you imagine this? Talk about the romance being dead, jeez, I mean, now they're gonna have sophisticated algorithms that'll just be able to whittle down an entire relationship to a percentage point likelihood of whether or not it's going to last or not, so why even bother in the first place? But that's just based on algorithms, because they're also saying that once we're surrounded by these all listening, all hearing, artificially intelligent voice assistants like the Amazon Alexa and the Google Home, etc., they will be able to predict whether a marriage will be successful at a threshold higher than the current level of 75% accuracy based on continuous acoustical analysis of the verbal communication going on in the home between the couple. The idea of the Antichrist is that towards the end there, 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 there will be a type of false salvation through uh, love of the world and material things and these things. And, and I think the Muslims definitely have a very strong sense of the Dajjal because at the end of the prayer you actually make a prayer that says, and I seek refuge from the tribulation of the Dajjal uh, in the last period. And the Prophet Muhammad said, uh, every prophet has warned his people about the Dajjal, but I will tell you something that no other prophet told his people, he only has one eye. So that was the, the tradition that he said about the Dajjal, that he would have one eye. And there's a very interesting, uh, some of the Muslims said, you know, the television is like a Dajjal, it's a one-eyed type beast. Um, and uh, there's an interesting uh, section in Lewis Mumford's, the second volume of his work on the Mega Machine, which is the eye of the one eye of Ray, the all-seeing eye of Ray. And he talks about that the Mega Machine one of the things about the mega machine, he said traditionally, was that they couldn't, they didn't have an all-seeing power, these, these previous kings and rulers. He said, in the near future, uh, we have theoretically at our hands uh, a machine that will able to monitor all of our uh, life, which is the computer. And he said that, and this is what Foucault called the panoptic society, the all-seeing society. You will be on record recorded all the time. Everything you do, every facial expression you make, every time you fart, it's gonna be <laughs> analyzed by a computer in your home. This is what it means to live in a cybernetic society where you are just in a feedback loop that, that requires continuous data extraction for it to work. And so, as computers become more integrated into people's decision-making processes and into their lives, period, and as people become more and more intimate with these devices and, and what we're sharing, all of our personal data and our, our emotional situations and our medical information and everything, it's now being suggested also, and not just in fiction films, in the media, in real life, and there are actually studies with chatbots to back this up, that people are eventually going to start falling in love with these systems, falling in love with their artificial intelligence. So the idea just of, you know, this kind of panoptic culture where, and, and the interesting thing now is this idea of computers with the actual um, camera on it, very interesting phenomenon, because who else can watch?